Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible Italy 1, England 2. All over in Naples, 10 men England have held on. They win in Italy for the first time since 1961, thanks to Harry Kane's record breaking goal. Uh, that was also Italy's first defeat in 41 European qualifiers. It's crazy. I mean, it's Italy's first home defeat in Euros uh, qualifying since 1999. It's an incredible win. An incredible win for England. What a win it was. They made a hard work of it. I mean, they were in complete control uh, in the first half, but didn't perform in the second half at all. Uh, they were clinging on after that red card. That red card, of course, came from Luke Shaw. After that, England just sat back and started defending completely. Uh, but they managed to get through it. They managed to get through it. Uh, they were really, uh, um, really, really good individual performances in the first half. But the players disappeared in the second half. Uh, England were uh, cruising, but they just lost their way. Uh, I don't know if it was an energy thing or if they if they couldn't just find their form in the second half. I don't know what it was, but the first half and the second half is just completely different. If you want to compare it, it's a completely different, uh, different performance. Italy uh, did improve in the second half, but England just couldn't find a way through the press. Uh, uh, and basically, they were just hanging on until the end to get that win. Was it a deserved win? Probably in terms of 90 minutes. I thought the first half was a dominant display by England. But the second half, uh, they kind of just faded away. It could be tiredness. It could be something else. Or it could be Harry Maguire. You know, like when you have Harry Maguire in the lineup, he's always tends to make a mistake. And if you look at the first goal, that first goal came because of his pass, his missed pass. And he just went in at, out of position. He creates a gap. And that's how Italy were actually managed to score that, that, that only goal they scored in this match. But all in all, I think it's a massive, massive uh, result for England. Harry Kane, of course, what a record for him as well. What a record for him as well. Striker Harry Kane uh, b b becomes England's all-time goal scorer with his four, uh, 54th uh, goal, breaking Wayne Rooney's record. It's a huge record for him. Huge record. Let me just quickly show you guys the stats here. So in terms of ball possession, Italy... Uh, have had more possession at the end of the game. If you look at the stats in the first half, I thought England really dominated the ball. But all in all, 58% for Italy, 42 for England. In terms of shots on goal, 10 to 7. Shots on target, 1 to 4. Italy, even though they've dominated ball possession all uh, in the second half, they managed to have one shot on target. And that was the goal. That's the only thing they, they created. Uh, corner kicks, 7 to 3. Fouls. There, were, there weren't that many fouls, uh, but Luke Shaw did manage to get a red card in this match. Second yellow card. Was it a deserved one? Probably a soft one, in my opinion. Probably a soft one. But uh, all in all, decent result for England. Man of the match for me, Harry Kane. Again, he just keeps breaking record after record. I thought his performance was good. Uh, he did uh, a score uh, that penalty kick in this match as well. Uh, it's a big boost for him, especially after that World Cup heartbreak. It's a nice way for him to bounce back. But do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. And do you think now England could go ahead and win the group? Do let me know in the comment sections. But thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.